Hello, I am Wallace, the Polish toy guy, and today I want to show you how to transform Voyager class Autobot Ratchet from Transformers the first movie from 2007. This video is a companion to a full review I created recently, and while I did transform Ratchet from vehicle to robot mode in the set review, now I'm going to do it both ways and using a different accent because I want to test this idea of two videos of the same toy in a short period of time. So let's give it a go and let's start transforming Ratchet. And this time around I'll start with converting him from robot to vehicle mode and I'm not going to cover any gimmicks of this toy because I did that in the review. Still, if you happen to have his pincer claw thing attached to his forearm, remove it and then put it together and put it away for a moment and now we want to get our hands on Ratchet's head, turn it around and cover it up with this piece that was on his back and you should squeeze it into place because it does have a tendency to fall down once in vehicle mode. Now we can get our hands on the forearms, rotate them around and put them closer to the arm guards and we may have to lower them back again just for a moment but for now we want to get our hands over here at Ratchet's belly button and separate his top from his bottom. It's just a matter of unclipping two pegs that connect to, shall we say, spinal hinge, as I like to call it. And now we can start transforming the front, so we get our hands on his belly again and we use its double hinge to extend it. And once it's up, we want to get our hands on these halves of his front windshield and rotate them so that they end up together on the other side and now we can click this into position for final vehicle configuration. We'll leave the arms for the time being now. We're going to work on the legs while we still have enough room to do that. So the first thing we want to do is to rotate the legs inside and start transforming them by bending this hinge and this hinge on both of them. So it might be a good idea to actually work on the legs right now. So the legs are part of the Automorph gimmick. So... No, wait, sorry. Before we do that, we have to angle them a bit, like this. Now we can take care of the Automorph, because this will land in the place where the knee joint was a second ago. So that would be kind of hard to do with this still a straight line. So now we want to get our hands on the foot and press it forward and this will untransform the knee guard and these two panels on the leg and we do this also over here. This will now allow us to rotate the legs up and at this point we first want to make sure that the loin piece is shall we say, between the inner parts of the legs and now we can combine the legs together, like so. Still a sturdy connection on my piece, I'm happy about that. And now we can use the secondary hinge to put everything above the rear wheels, like this. And now we can also rotate up the rear bumper, like this. And the back of Ratchet's vehicle mode is almost complete. Now we want to align everything in a way where this will gently touch the back of the feet but not connect. No, the connection between the front and the back will be created by first rotating the arms 180 degrees and then collapsing them first on this hinge under the mask. One click, one click. And now you may have to lower the forearms a bit. Uh, not necessary, but it does make the process slightly easier. So now we use this second hinge over here to put this closer to the legs. But first we may want to flip out this panel that was on the back of the arm guards. 
And as you can see, we have a cutout that corresponds to this tab on the legs. So now we put everything together. And it, it may require a bit of a push, but it's doable. And now we align everything over here. And we align everything over here after working our way through this hinges resistance. Like this. And now we tab one into another. And now we can gently manipulate the forearms so that they end up inside these cavities between the chest and the legs. Like this. And the final touch to complete Ratchet's transformation is to get our hands back on this roof harness piece, as we can now see, and connect it to the roof using these three tabs or pegs. So one, two, three. And with that done, Ratchet's vehicle mode is complete. And now we can work our way back from vehicle mode to robot mode. So we want to start by removing, unplugging the roof harness, put it away, and now we can grab this panel by putting our finger below it, and we can flip it around once it's unplugged. Yes, and double yes. And with that done, we can now get our hands on the front wheels and click them out. Just once, this will also take care of this section. And now we can also use this secondary hinge over here to fully extend the arms outward. And while we are at it, we can also flip them around for their robot mode position. And we will not take care of them right now. Let's go to the legs, where first we want to lower down the rear bumper. And now we want to get our hands on this top piece of the back and using this hinge, move it out a bit. And now we can separate the legs. Not an easy task, but I'm happy with that. Yes. And now we can fully extend this lower hinge down. Now we can rotate this outward to form a sort of T. And now we can grab the feet and we unclick them from the vehicle mode position. It's a solid connection again. Yes. And double yes. Oh. And now we can fully put them into their robot mode position, so they are a flat line against the leg. And this will activate, again, the automorph of Ratchet, extending the knee guard and pushing out these panels a bit. Yes. And yes. And this will also make room to fully extend the second part of this joint structure. So we do that. And now we Rotate the lower legs outward. Now we can lower them down so that we can see these details of the crotch when looking from the front. And now we can prepare to dock the top of Ratchet with his bottom. And to do that we have to get rid of this small obstacle, that is the windshield. And we do that by first unplugging it from its vehicle mode position. It was connected using this double hinge. And once that's up, we want to swivel these halves of the windshield around so that they end up on the back of this piece. But we don't want to rotate them all the way because we want to leave some clearance for this spinal joint, spinal hinge. And as you can see, we have two sets of holes that work with this tab over here and this tab over here. So first I want to put this into position. And as you can see, there's also a cutout for this piece's edge. So it goes in without a click, but on my piece, these pieces actually do click together with various amounts of sound. And we are very close to completing this process. We now want to 
rotate Ratchet's forearms and lower them on the bicep, on the, wait, on the elbow and on the shoulder hinges. Yes, we repeat this task on the other arm. And the final touch to complete Ratchet's transformation is to first get our hands on this lower engine cover and flip it around so that it ends up on the back. And now we can rotate his head. And the core Ratchet robot mode is complete, but we can also make it slightly more pretty by getting our hands on this roof harness, splitting its halves up and using this tab and this dock point on the engine cover. We align them and we push one with the other. And now we have a decoration that further completes Ratchet into, shall we say, his ultimate robot mode that does not involve weaponizing that back piece. And that's all for this transformation guide. I hope it was useful to you. And if you want to learn more about this toy, I also encourage you to watch my full video review that was created before this video, if that interests you. If not, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a good day. Polish Toy Guy, signing out.